buyers are asking about escalation clauses more often now, especially when they expect to be competing against many other buyers for a hot property. They're still not that common. I'd say they're using probably less than 5% of offers. So what is an escalation clause? It really consists of three main components. The first is the initial offer price. For example, a buyer will offer a million dollars. The second component is how much the, bu the buyer's offer will automatically increase above what would have been the highest offer. So, for example, the buyer will beat the next offer by $5,000. And the third is the maximum that the buyer is willing to go to, or their cap. So altogether, it might be something like the buyer is offering a million dollars, but will automatically increase their bid to beat the next offer by $5,000 up to a maximum of $1.1 million. That's an example. So you can see why this is attractive on its face to many buyers. It's a way to offer a price and to potentially beat out the competition, but not to pay much more than you need to to win the deal. In reality, there's some risks and some, some challenges that come along with escalation clauses that uh, need to be considered. First, uh, the buyer's offer is based on uh, there being another bona fide offer. But what is a bona fide offer? How do you verify that there really was another offer or the amount of that offer? The seller, even if they agree to show you the other offers that come in, they'll usually redact the customer's contact information. Even if they give you the customer, the other buyer's contact information who you're competing against, are you going to contact that buyer and say, hey, we're competing against you. Is this a real offer? And will you verify that so that we can take this from you? Uh, that's not a realistic request. Uh, or how do you know that the seller doesn't go to their uncle and say, hey, we have an escalation, we have, an, we have another offer with an escalation clause. Uh, why don't you make us an offer uh, at their maximum so that they'll go up to that? Or the seller might even commit fraud and make up an offer altogether. It's hard to know if the seller does that. So there's some real dangers in the escalation clause. The seller is under no obligation to play along. Just because the buyer uh, presents an escalation clause doesn't mean the seller has to show you or even disclose what their other offers are. The seller could say, look, you've revealed that your maximum price is 1.1. You clearly think that this property is worth that. Um, so our counter offer to you is 1.1 million. And a lot of times when the seller is presented with a situation, they will uh, often just counter offer at that maximum price. Sometimes buyers might try and get around this by crafting an escalation clause where uh, they don't mention the cap. In, in this case, the buyer might structure their offer as an offer price of a million dollars. A buyer will beat any bona fide offer by $5,000 with no cap, but subject to the buyer's review. This is not a real offer. It's not uh, something that a savvy seller should accept. What this offer really is, is the buyer asking for a right of first refusal for free. Uh, no seller will accept that uh, if they have good counsel. Uh, but sometimes, you know, a buyer might get away with it, especially on a first round. Are there cases where a buyer should use an escalation clause? It depends. It should be considered part of the overall strategy. It's something that buyers should discuss with their buyer's agents. Some sellers are so adamant against escalation clauses that it would really hurt the buyer to use one. This is where the advice of your buyer's agent and knowing that particular situation and the seller and the listing agent uh, is important. It's also important to really discuss and understand the possible benefits and also the risks and be comfortable with that. It's a, another tool uh, that you can use in your offer. Thanks so much for watching this episode. If you have other questions you'd like addressed in future episodes, please contact me uh, and subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much. Bye.